The embattled leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP Namdi Kano, has sent a new message to members of the separatist group aimed on going speculations about his potential release from detention. Kano, currently held by the Department of State Service TSS, has instructed his followers to remain steadfast. This directive was conveyed by Special Counsel Aloy Jimako in a post on his ex formerly Twitter handle. During his routine meeting with Kano, Ijimako shared the directive stating updates. I have concluded today's visitation with Onyendo, Mazi Namdi Kano, in my company where Barrister Mandela and Prince Emmanuel. Mazi Namdi Kano greets the faithful and lawyer and directs that all should stay put and stay the course. He is proud of those that have imparted positively and brought sanity to bear. There has been several reports that President Bola Tinubu led federal government is planning to seek canon free uh, freedom or free from detention some of those reports hinted that the ipop leader would be released earlier but for the governorship election in imo state now that the imo election has come and gone there is this likelihood that canon may be freed any time from now meanwhile a human rights group the Congress of Civil Society has told Nigerian government to urgently release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, Mazinam de Kano, for peace to return in the southeast region of the country. Reacting to outburst by Chief of Defense Staff General Christ Musa, when the service chiefs met with the House of Representatives, the group said in the release, made available to newsmen in Onitsha, Anambra State, that they were shocked that the CDS accused Simon Ekba and IPOP as being behind insecurity in the Southeast, without mentioning the activities of Fulani headers and even the conduct of security operatives in the Southeast that fuel the activities of IPOP. The group in the release endorsed by Comrade Danny, Oku Dike, the coordinator, Abia State Branch of the right group, lamented the, that the one-sided report by the military chief is which he blamed Ekba but did not say anything at the contentious killings in the northeast and the northwest by members of Boko Haram and their likes, saying that that shows how partisan the Nigerian security outfits were against the Southeast in everything. Just a few days ago, armed men killed over 50 persons and sacked communities in Zamvara State and other states in the North. The CDS did not mention it in the report. He turned a blind eye to those killings that showed how top security operatives in this country use ethnic city to destroy the country in attempt to protect their own, said the group. The CDS, according to the group, also alleged that Iqbal's unguided actions have resulted in loss of several lives, including security personnel, crippling the social economic activities in the country. For the avoidance of doubt, said the group, they were not backing Simon Ekba or holding brief for him, but it is unfair to blame the insecurity in the country and the southeast of the country on him alone. Why they were more deadly terrorist group killing Nigerians on a daily basis at the backyard of General Musa. It is necessary to recall that we want Nigerian security agencies to stop sending their men to kill IPOB members and apply a peaceful approach in resolving the problem. The former president, Umaru Yaradua, fought men in Niger Delta with reefs and machines, guns, and, and failed at least. He introduced amnesty to all the fighters. 
the policy and the strategy brought the war to an end. Why not use the same approach, said the group. They said from the surveil, we conducted the the only viable option Nigerian government has is to release Namdi Kano. Releasing Kano will be a will go to a large extent to solve the problem of insecurity in the zone. Bullets and guns can never kill ideology. But the group said such demand made by Nigeria may not seem see the light of the day because Finnish government sees Nigeria as an irresponsible state which does not res respect neither international laws nor their own laws. We may remind you, CDS, that it was on record that the United Nations, the UN Committee Working Group on the Bituary Detention, had on April 4, 2022, adopted a report which stated that Nigerian government should release Namdi Kano. And the said report indicted both your country, Nigeria, and Kenya government for illegal arrests and extraordinary rendition, torture, and continued detention of Kano in the facility of DSS, uh, the Department of Security Service DSS. They continued, Are you aware that the report further gave Nigerian government six months within which they would state his opinion on Kano's matter, step taken to comply with all the recommendations thereof. Secondly, all Nigerian courts have set Mazenam the Kano free from all accusations and allegations, yet the Nigerian government has ignored them, and they are still holding him. They queried, with all these valuations, what do you think? of any nation. You think any nation will take Nigeria serious on your demand on Simon Ekba? Hmm. They said it is said that he who goes to they said that he who goes to equity must go with clean hands. The CDS, it is the federal government starts to if the federal government starts to obey both local and international laws, Finnish government will listen to your demand. <laughs> Wahala, promise. So, guys, let's hear from you. In fact, everything they have said here is still centering on Mazen Namdikanu's release. Only Namdikanu's release can bring peace in the southeast. Whether some persons are using it, using it for uh, whatever. It does not matter. Namdi Kano's release can only bring peace in Nigeria. So, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.